Welcome back to the Crypt Labs YouTube channel. Bit of a different video. I am traveling for a few weeks, so the videos may be a little more vloggy style because I'm less and less on the computer. Luckily, DeFi works for you 24 seven. So even when you sleep, you're making money. Quick message, I know I repeat this often, but every time I do to clients or members or just people we're working with and to myself, because I'm not perfect, it lands. There's value in this and I wish more people could not only intellectually understand this, but implement it. And it's not what, it's not how, it's who. Probably the biggest question I'm constantly getting asked and I think you will. When you do something and people want to know how you do it, they're like, well, how did you do it? And I've given many people, here's exactly how I did it. And guess what? They didn't do it. Which pisses me off. Imagine how many times have you done this? Because I've done it. I was given the blueprint. I was told what to do. Here's a step by step. And then I didn't do it. Made excuses up. Well, but I can't because of this, that. I can't surf, just buy the surfboard, jump on the water, you'll figure it out. But we don't do it. Beliefs, fears, limitations, etc. So it's not how, it's who. And so nowadays, I always ask the same question. Who? Who do I have to be to build the portfolio I want, to live the life I want, to travel the way I want, to build the company or the business, or to be, I don't care what it is. Who? Who do I have to be? Who do I have to construct? Who do I have to build? Who do I have to be? What would I have to believe? How would I have to think? How would I see the world? It's so fascinating to me that an investor, I'm talking a real investor, because a lot of people are clicking buttons, buying crypto assets, but they're not real investors. A real investor, when they see red in the market, they get excited. They see opportunity. When they see chaos in the market, they see opportunity. The amateur freaks out sells. Or the amateur sees a bunch of green and they jump on it. The amateur in DeFi, which DeFi, I love DeFi because the returns are so much higher than you could get in almost any other endeavor you could pursue. And it's liquid and you could start with smaller amounts and it's accessible to everyone. But that's beside the point. <sighs> They'll jump into random pools, chasing the highest APYs, chasing the highest returns because they're greedy and they want to make money and etc cetera, etc cetera, and they're not doing any fundamental analysis any technical analysis they're not understanding what they're getting into they're setting way too tight of ranges thinking that they'll just make a ton of money and then when it's their portfolio drops in value a little bit they freak out and they start selling instead of man it's freaking beautiful here instead of or we're in santa monica i woke up at five and went for a walk and then walked along the pier um every time i'm here i wake up even earlier than I usually wake up and I go for a little stroll. But anyways, it fills me with inspiration because I know who do I have to be. I want to be someone who's always filled with inspiration, always filled with energy, gets up before the sun comes up, constantly inspired. Seagulls are aggressive, constantly inspired. Who do I have to be? How would I have to operate? That's besides the point, but anyways. They see green in the market, they see red in the market, they see chasing highest APY, instead of just slowing down and seeing this as a business. Who do I have to be? You have to be an entrepreneur, you have to be an investor. You gotta get excited when the markets are chaotic. When you see red in the markets, I hope Bitcoin hits 32K. On Twitter, I see everyone freaking out and sell and buy and they're thinking day to day and it's just chaos, talking heads talking heads on TV saying, buy this, buy that, sell Tesla, buy Tesla. Freaking dumb. If you know Bitcoin is gonna be a 100K asset, if you know Bitcoin is gonna be a $100,000 asset, do you care if you buy it at 32, 42, 28, 52? Do you actually care? And if you're yield farming like BTC ETH, like I'm doing and I'm earning more Bitcoin and ETH, do I care what my actual portfolio value on a day-to-day -day basis is doing? No, not at all. Whereas the amateur, someone who hasn't become an investor, who hasn't been working on themselves, freaks out. They sell at the worst time, they buy at the worst time. They're on crypto Twitter all the time. Crypto Twitter makes their decisions for them. And they're wondering why they keep getting wrecked. Who? Not how. Not how do I do this. Not what assets do I get into. We first work on the person, which at the end of the day, that's, that's the game we play. 
The game is literally self-mastery. It's who do we become? It's increasing our skill sets, thinking in bigger and better ways, seeing the world differently. And once that clicks, then the what, then the how actually becomes relevant because now we're the people who can operate. It's like give a million dollars to someone who's not a millionaire and they typically quickly lose it. Someone who's not a millionaire doesn't see the world, doesn't operate as a millionaire, you quickly lose it. It's the same thing in crypto, it's the same thing as DeFi, people catch it a pump, make it a ton of freaking money and then losing it because they're not yet investors. Become it. Become it. We flip that model of reality around. For most people it's, okay, I wanna have this thing so I'm gonna do all this stuff and then maybe I'll become successful or I'll feel successful, whatever. We flip that model. Who do I have to be? Let me operate from that place so it's the be, then the doing, then the having. Not the other way around. Becoming. It's not what, it's not how, it's who. Who do you have to be? I really want you to answer that question because this will change your life. Who do I have to be? In order to have the life or get the things that I want, who do I have to be? I'm gonna let you answer that in the comments below. I'm gonna get out of here, finish my walk. Uh, we do have a live today as well. We try to do a live every week or every two weeks here on the YouTube channel. Uh, this time the whole team is joining us, so I do hope to see you there if this video is released before that live, which I hope it is. If not, you can check out the live tab and RSVP to some next lives. Come check out the UIG. We have such a vision for what we're building in the Underdog Investor Group. It's well beyond just crypto. We want to build investors, entrepreneurs. We want to create. Investing is a lifestyle. It's not something you do. That's something I'm repeating often. Investing is not something you do. It's not clicking buttons. It's a lifestyle. It's a becoming. It's a who, not how. And fundamentally, we just want to create an army of investors who are literally seeing the world in terms of value creation, value addition, ownership, at least financial success will be had. Maybe not success in all areas of life, but financial success. But what financial success brings is you can buy back your time so you can actually work on yourself and become a better person. Go for a walk for two hours on the beach. Think, <clears throat> work on yourself, build yourself. That's what money does. And that's the only purpose in my mind to money. You don't take it with you. So you gotta exchange it for time so you can get your time back. That's it. Appreciate you, much love, like and subscribe. I'll put some other videos up here for your viewing pleasures and hopefully I'll see you live. And with that said, hopefully I'll see you in the UIG. Come join us or at least check out what it is we do. We'll leave a link below. With that said, I'm out of here. Peace.